Hey everybody, Vapeologist here, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your SSV's heater cover and whip setup, and also how to maintain the heater cover mount if you've got the old style. You're definitely going to need some isopropyl alcohol. 91% is ideal, but 70% will definitely work. Uh, also some Q-tips or pipe cleaners, and some needle nose pliers, and a small container to hold the alcohol. Once you've unplugged your SSV and allowed it to completely cool down for about 20 minutes, Remove your heater cover by twisting back and forth while lifting up. You may need to use gentle force, but it should come right off. My heater cover really isn't that dirty, so this should be pretty easy on my end. Just throw the heater cover in a container of alcohol and let it sit while you're working on the rest. I'm removing all my heater cover mount parts just to show you how to reassemble them. Sometimes when you remove your heater cover, this entire setup comes apart. Okay, while well we've got the heater cover off, let's go ahead and uh, soak a towel in some alcohol and then just wipe out the inside of the unit. First goes the donut, then the tall split ring. And then the shim. To clean the whip, just hold the mouthpiece and the wand above the rest of the hose and pour in a few ounces of alcohol. Seal both ends with your fingers and then shake vigorously until the hose and the glass look clean. You might have to use an alcohol soaked q-tip on stubborn areas near the herb chamber. On my wand, the well between the two pieces of glass wasn't fully sealed so it creates kind of a trouble spot. Aficionados will definitely want to retain this whip rinse for extraction later. Otherwise, rinse the whip with warm water and let it dry. Just a tip on the screens. I've been using this screen for four years. There's really no reason to ever need to replace your screen unless you physically damage it somehow. If it ever needs cleaning, just soak it in a little shot glass alcohol. Inserting the screen is easy. Just shape it like a contact lens, slide it in the herb chamber, and use the pick to push it all the way down. Just make sure that it's bowed toward the chamber tip. I think the heater cover's been soaking long enough. Let's go ahead and pull that out, and then just take a Q-tip and give it a quick cleaning. Okay, put your heater cover back on, plug the SSV back in and turn it on high and let it burn off anything that might have collected on the heating element during cleaning. And within a few minutes you should be ready to go. That's it. For more information on the SSV or any other vaporizer, head on over to vaporizersreview.com for more info.